I've been free of benign prostate hyperplasia, BPH, for just over two years now. It was touch and go at one point, though. I was increasingly unable to urinate properly. At one point, I got horribly close to having a catheter fitted. The thought of attaching a plastic bag to my body so I could pee just horrified me. Can you imagine such a thing? But my BPH had been disrupting my sleep for years, which left me tired, less able to focus, and occasionally very irritable. To be honest at times, it left me feeling a little low about life in general. And in the back of my mind, I always knew that the end game for BPH can be surgery on the gland itself which my doctor described as, we insert a tube through the tip of your penis. I stopped him right there. Anyway, it never came to surgery, or a catheter, thank goodness. Just over two years ago, I got the all clear. My prostate had shrunk back down to the size you'd expect in a healthy 25-year-old. I was 57 at the time, so that was great news. Just as important though, I know how to make sure my prostate never enlarges ever again. I'm never going to be back in that nasty situation I was back then. So let me tell you how this happened. If you want to return an enlarged prostate to its correct size, you can. Here's what I did. Simple steps back to full prostate health. So a disclaimer, I'm not some health wizard or medical genius who discovered a secret remedy for BPH. I'm an ordinary Joe who's driven a bus for the last 35 years. But as my prostate problem slowly worsened, I grew increasingly scared of where it would all end. I started visiting online health forums to see if there was any other way of reliably tackling this condition. And it turns out there is. I stumbled on a conversation with some ex-BPH sufferers who'd taken a completely natural path out of their prostate misery. They'd got shot of BPH by following a simple set of instructions that ignored BPH symptoms and, instead, tackled the condition at its very source. I was skeptical. I'm actually a big believer in doctors, not alternatives. But despite my doctor's best efforts, I was still ill and likely to stay that way. Whereas these people had become well again, which is something I wanted more than anything else. So I decided to do what they did. They followed a program called the Prostate Protocol. It was created by a highly respected alternative health practitioner called Scott Davis. I got my copy that day. The result? I no longer have BPH either. It's gone. Let me tell you exactly how that happens. Why the prostate can be shrunk. Scott Davis's The Prostate Protocol takes a logical, no-frills approach to defeating BPH. Consider this. Your prostate was normal-sized once. Whereas it's not now. It's too big. But there's a reason it's too big. It didn't just happen. Something caused it to be enlarged. Now, we have long known that hormonal imbalances in a man cause the prostate to grow out of control. In particular, if you have an enlarged prostate, then right now your estrogen and testosterone hormones are way out of balance. For us men, these critical hormones must be in sync at all times. Otherwise, it's unavoidable. Things will go wrong for us. For as long as your hormones stay like this, you'll always have BPH. Unfortunately, We've never actually known why that hormonal imbalance is happening, which is why BPH treatments are so unreliable. Without solid knowledge about actual causes, our doctors are forced to make guesses about what might work for us. To get shot of BPH, we need to straighten out the hormone problem. But how do you do that if you don't know what messed them up in the first place? Well, that's what has changed, because we now do know what leads to our hormones going so out of whack. And knowing this is the key to how my prostate and the prostate glands of thousands of other men have shrunk back to their normal sizes. How we shrink the prostate. The hormonal imbalance that leads to BPH is caused first of all in the gut. Yes, the gut. I thought that was weird too when I first heard it. But here's the thing. Human gut bacteria has been with us since the dawn of time. It doesn't just keep us healthy, it keeps us alive. It turns out there are hundreds of types of bacteria. Each type has its own jobs to do. Medical scientists and research institutions across North America, Europe, and Asia have independently confirmed the astonishing work that our gut bacteria does for us. And the research they are conducting on bacteria treatments for many of the Western world's most dangerous diseases is producing revolutionary outcomes for very sick patients. The proven fact is that, when they're healthy and plentiful, 
Our gut bacteria are literally the difference between life and death for us. They minimize inflammation, protect us from heart and kidney disease, manage our weight, regulate our cholesterol, stabilize our blood sugars, keep our moods consistent, and perform dozens of other tasks that make our lives possible. And guess what else these little helpers do for us? They regulate, manage, and stabilize male hormones. In particular, they make sure the ratios of estrogen and testosterone are exactly how they need to be. Because as we already know, when these get out of whack, we end up with benign prostate hyperplasia. But here's the problem. These bacteria are delicate. They're not hardy, tough little critters that can withstand any kind of hardship. In fact, they're quite the opposite. They need exactly the right nutrition, the right conditions to thrive. Western diets and lifestyle aren't helpful in this regard at all. It's not your fault or mine. But over the years, our valuable, life-saving gut bacteria is simply dying off, and we're paying a hefty price for that. Which explains why Westerners have heart disease, organ disease, obesity, and a range of metabolic conditions on a scale unheard of in some other parts of the world. Years of slowly killing off our life-giving gut bacteria eventually makes us ill. And BPH is one of the consequences of the onslaught against gut bacteria. BPH is caused by a sick gut bacteria environment, and it simply can't get better until our gut bacteria get better. Fixing gut bacteria. This is where Scott comes in. This is what he specializes in. Scott evaporates stubborn illnesses by tackling head-on the bacteria loss that's causing them in the first place. And put simply, Scott's prostate protocol was my prostate rescue plan. It focuses on the specific bacteria that we need in order to make things right again. I had terrible BPH when I started this prostate protocol. But I did everything Scott told me, and I mean everything. And when I did, my gut bacteria came back to life. And as they did that, they were able to pick up the work they were actually there to do. Over a period of just weeks, my hormones adjusted back to normal. And when that happened, my BPH just didn't stand a chance. My prostate shrunk quickly, and three weeks after starting Scott's plan, I got my first full night of uninterrupted sleep. All the way through, no interruptions, no getting up for the bathroom. I felt like I had just been to heaven. The prostate protocol. Your doctor will already have told you that to beat BPH, you must eat good food. That's great advice, but there's a huge problem here. The food those specific bacteria need isn't just any food. Yes, it's food available in supermarkets, so nothing expensive or exotic. But there are specific foods that are supersonic when it comes to re-energizing those depleted bacteria. You already eat some of them, but possibly not often enough. There's also a few foods, generally considered healthy, that you'll have to avoid for a while. We can't guess at this. We've got to get it exactly right. That's what Scott Davis's The Prostate Protocol showed me. He knew exactly what I had to do in order to get well. And when I did it, that's exactly what happened. Which is why I haven't had to get up at night to pee even once in two years. Go big to go small. The first few weeks of the prostate protocol do most of the work of shrinking that prostate. It focuses hard on regrowing good, healthy gut bacteria. There's no BPH recovery without those vital helpers. So we major on getting these little guys happy and healthy again. So I ate lots and lots of the specific foods that Scott told me to, and for a few weeks, I cut out a few others. We make a big effort in those initial weeks. We want to get on top of this problem quickly. There's no pussyfooting with this. But after that initial big push, we ease right off. The main job is done. Those vital gut bacteria have got exactly what they need, and they respond quickly. From then on, maintaining those healthy, happy bacteria is super easy. What I especially like is that maintaining a normal prostate is not about avoiding foods I love. It's about eating enough of the foods those bacteria love. So I still enjoy my morning coffee. And my little helpers are still happy as heck. BPH, the two times faster solution. In the prostate protocol, Scott Davis points out that our health-giving gut bacteria are also negatively affected by some everyday factors. For example, they're sensitive to our levels of tiredness and stress. They're also hurt by environmental pollutants. If you want to turbocharge your prostate relief, then you can take these additional considerations into account. It's not essential, though. 
eating the right food remains the single biggest factor to restoring your gut bacteria. But if you're in a hurry to say goodbye to BPH, then this part of the program is very easy to follow. I was shocked, in a nice way, at how much more relaxed I became when I practiced Scott's mindful stress management advice. I really liked how it made me feel. Like I say, these additional factors give your BPH effort some extra zip. But if you just follow the food protocol, you're going to be fine. Proving it to myself. By the way, how do I know that my prostate shrinkage was wholly due to Scott's program? Well, in the year and a half before starting a solution, my prostate slowly but surely grew bigger. But I took the PSA test just before I started Scott's protocol. I took it again after 6 weeks and then again after 12 weeks. In those weeks, the PSA showed that my prostate reduced from just over 4 times its original size to just about the size of a walnut, which is the average size of a prostate gland in a healthy man. So what about you? Being ill with BPH used to be a life sentence. Now it's a choice. Because now we know what's causing BPH in the first place. So instead of suffering a steadily worsening condition, we can address it directly at its cause. Instead of ongoing poor sleep, meds that don't quite work, and in the end, possible surgery, we can be well again. Your doctors are doing their best, but they're still stuck with an approach that started in the 1950s. It didn't work then. It's not working now. What is working is contained in Scott's program. Be good to yourself. You deserve better. Thousands of us who used to have BPH no longer have it. Join us. Get your copy of the Prostate Protocol by clicking the link below. It gets better when you address it. We know how BPH is caused. Essential gut bacteria has died off and urgently needs replacing. For as long as we don't deal with the bacteria problem, we'll have BPH. Remember, it's a choice. Help that bacteria and things change almost immediately. Your body rebalances its male hormone levels, which removes forever the cause of your BPH. And once the cause is gone, the illness goes with it. This is the method used by me and thousands of men like me. And it's simply waiting for you to apply it to yourself. Start today. Click the link below and get your copy of the Prostate Protocol now. Time isn't on your side. Standard doctor's advice is to keep a watchful eye on the condition. Intervene if it becomes a real problem. In my opinion, that was terrible advice. By the time we realized my BPH was a real problem, it had outgrown their ability to actually do anything about it. A catheter beckoned. Surgery fast became their plan A. The end game of BPH can be urinary tract infections, kidney infections, and, at worst, kidney failure. Why would anyone risk going through any of this? Thousands of men decided enough was enough. They decided to act rather than wait around. Which is the intelligent thing to do, right? If you're of the same mind, then get Scott's program now. It'll be with you in 90 seconds. Click below.